So kind of a funny story here. First of all, basics about it. Uh, 54 from bottom to top, 54 and a quarter. So if you're over that, not gonna work for you. Exactly 11 inches on the front, across the front. <clears throat> now if you include the handle, <clears throat> you're sticking out another inch and a half. So 12, 12 and a half. There you go. So 11 here plus a, an inch and three eighths. So if you're putting this in a closet or something tight, keep that. So 11, 12, 12 and three eighths from the top of the handle to the back or just 11 here and 12 across the front exactly. Um, I will say uh, packed extremely well. It was a box within a box within a box within a box. Why am I buying this? I also like that. They're not chinchy hinges. Um, not a lot of space to pry around. Why am I buying a gun safe? My, my dad had one, had an electronic keypad, loved it, and lost the key, right? Oh, he had electronic batteries ran out. So we had to cut it open. Um, now, most of these safes are easy, even the thousands of dollars ones, Liberty safes. They're going to be the same paneling on the side. You get an angle grinder, you can get into them. So it's really a deterrent, um, certainly children and some, some safety but um, and protection of property. Why did I buy him this one, though? So if, let's say he loses the keys again, which I'm sure he won't do. Let's say the batteries go out. There is an external battery pack that can power the keypad, which is an awesome thing. It's um, for your boys. When the um, battery is not, or when the key is not in, there's a nice cover on it. I'll show you the inside. Um, there's a battery pack for internal battery pack. Again, I would just put this in the safe spot, right? Um, you got two little shell or three little shelves. One, two at the bottom, one at the top. Um, this shelf up top, uh, I don't know, he likes stacks and silver and stuff. Maybe we'll put some stuff up there. Maybe some ammo boxes, maybe some documents, whatever. Um, as you can see, there are um, bolt holes. I thought there was six. I think there's, oh yeah, sure, there you go. Two up top, two in the middle, two. So depending on where you want to mount it, um, you have some options, right? And it did come with included hardware. Um, there are no holes on the bolts on the floor. Um, so you have to, if you wanted to bolt it into your floor, you'd have to draw it. It did come with hardware, like extendable bolts. So as you see, four of those and washers. So you pile it hole, put those in. As you tighten the bolt, they expand and grab. Um, these are these are friction fit, probably for your ARs here style. You can although you can slide them anywhere. Um, and then if you did have just like let's say single barrel shotguns style. Um, you can fit three and do these caddies. So there's two of these ones with two with wide open space and three and then one of these. And then there are pistol positions as well. Um, internal length or height depth. Let's see, so probably 10 inches depth. Woo! Drop my phone. Let's see here. I could probably just measure one of these. 10 inches depth. Width is 11 and... 5 8 all that and then height again you're probably knocking off not much height with the probably 54 inches again this is 54 and 3 8 i believe i said or a quarter so all in all really nice safe i can't wait to give it to him i'm certainly going to say make sure you put one of the keys in a safe space oh the other thing is is the keys are really nice and rounded so um the reason he took off his other one is the key like actuated and what i mean there was like a hinge here so every time you like put them in his pocket they like stab him so this is more more car key like right like just a nice key to carry uh and there are two so overall obviously function packed really well um my favorite thing is like again when you buy these these pressed metal or bent metal um stamp metal safes um usually they're crappy hinges those are i mean those are big boys so